Right, this video might be important for any student who wants to study computer science in the University of Edinburgh. I'm going to be sharing tips and tricks and where you're going to be studying computer science in University of Edinburgh. And there's going to be a lot of links which I'm going to be talking about in this video. And I'm just going to put all of the links in the description and in the comments below. And I think the links are the most important part of this video. So make sure to see those links. Without further ado, let me show you Edinburgh. So first off, let me show you the degrees offered in University of Edinburgh. These are all the different schools in University of Edinburgh. And now let's see the School of Informatics. Within the School of Informatics, these are the individual degrees which you can choose. But over here, these are degrees which are not inside the School of Informatics. For example, Computational Physics is actually in the School of Physics and Astronomy. And the reason why I'm pointing this out is that if you ever want to change your degree, changing your degree in the same school would be simple. And there's a very high chance that you would be able to change your degree. But if you want to change your degree from one school to another, for example, Computational Physics, which is in the School of Physics and Astronomy, to the School of Informatics, that would be very hard if not impossible. So that's the reason why I'm pointing this out. Right, if you're an informatics student in the university, all of your classes would just be in one building. And that building is called Appleton Tower. And that building has a lot of lecture theatres and they're all very nice and big. And if you are an informatics student in that university, all informatics students would have access to the university computers. And the university computers are also called as DICE machines. And these computers, they actually have all of the apps and all of the systems you actually need to survive all of your years in university. And it's run inside Linux OS. But it's super chill, you don't need to know Linux or anything like that. And I honestly haven't used their machines much. When I was a fresher in university, I used to see a lot of Facebook groups just to see if there's any events on Freshers Week and to also find WhatsApp links which I can join for my course. And there was just a lot of But now I found this Facebook group which new freshers can actually join and this Facebook group has a lot of links to other Edinburgh related stuff and also WhatsApp links for your course which is quite cool and for informatics students we have this great Discord server and you should join the Discord server if you can because everyone is very nice and there's also seniors which talk to us it's just a very tight-knit community that we have don't worry if you can't find all the links no matter what when classes start one way or another, you would find the link somehow. Right, now I'm going to be talking about the accommodation in University of Edinburgh. When I was in year 2 of university, I actually stayed in a university accommodation. And you can do so by going to this website again. But the thing about accommodation is that everything was just run down. Like the stuff was just passed from one person to the next. So nothing was perfect in that accommodation. I think most of the time private accommodations would be better. This accommodation which I'm in right now, I got it from a website called Hello Student. And another website is called Student Roost. So I feel instead of using uni accommodations, you can also use websites like Hello Student and Student Roost. Make sure you actually see the video tour of your accommodation essentially before you actually get an accommodation. Because honestly, if you just see pictures, pictures can be very deceiving. And I think it's honestly worth it to spend a little extra on your accommodation because you are going to be staying in that accommodation for 10 months essentially. Right, now I'm going to be talking about on the academic side.
Here's the program structure for all of the years in Computer Science BSc. And here's for AI and Computer Science. I'll put all of the links in the description and in the comments. And now let me talk about year one first and what you're going to learn in year one. In year one, we basically have a class called An intro to computation is actually programming in Haskell. Haskell is actually a programming language. Now let me show you something cool. This guy, Philip Wadler, is one of the makers of Haskell. And now let's talk him a bit. That is Philip Wadler. And I'm talking about him because he's actually the lecturer for Introduction to Computation. And around week 11, he would wear this Superman costume because he loves teaching. In that class, we basically had like tutorials and we had programming in Haskell. And a hack which I found is if you have any problems in your work, there might be a chance where your seniors might have published their work on GitHub when they were in year one. So that might help you inside your tutorials and stuff like that. And that really helped me when I was in year one. And another class that we had was called... We just learned the basics of Java and we also programmed a small tic-tac-toe game in Java. And then the math courses that we had was called... An introduction to linear... I didn't do these classes because I was part of the engineering side. The engineering math which I did was just A-level math essentially. And I just want to say something. As you progress along the years, it does get tougher. But what I felt is that from year 1 to year 2, I felt the jump was just big. But from year 2 to year 3, the jump wasn't as big. But it still got harder. So I feel in University of Edinburgh, going from year 1 to year 2, there might be a big jump for you. So my advice is that when you're in year 1, make sure you also have time to socialize and make friends and enjoy your time. Alright. That's it for this video, thank you for watching, goodbye.